Polyelectrolytes are polymer compounds that contain ionogenic groups, that means groups that can create ions. In the solution of the polyelectrolyte, there are macroions, the charge groups of which are connected to each other by chemical bonds and an equivalent amount of counterions. Upon dilution solutions of conventional electrolytes, the distance between the ions increases and the interaction forces weaken. For polyelectrolytes, the charge groups of the macroion are always located at small distances from each other, which prim primarily determines the behavior of polyelectrolyte solutions. In addition, the dimensions of the macroion of the polyelectrolyte are several orders of magnitude larger than the sizes of contour ions. Polyelectrolytes are divided into polyacids, polybases and polyamphalites. Polyacids and polybases are divided into strong and weak, the charge of which is determined by the dissociation constants of ionogenic groups and the pH of the solution. An example of a strong polyacid is polyethylene sulfonic acid. The weak polyacid is polyacrylic acid. Weak polymer bases are represented by polymers containing nitrogen atoms capable of attaching a proton in aqueous media. For example, poly-4-vinylpyridine. When alkylating a nitrogen atom, the base strength increases. The chain of polyamphalites contains acidic and basic groups. The example of such compounds is a copolymer of metacrylic acid and 4-vinylpyridine. The total charge of polyamphalitic macroions depends on the pH of the solution and changes signs at the isoelectric point. Proteins and nucleic acids are polyamphalites. Polyelectrolytes can be linear and spatially cross-linked, last used as ion exchange materials. Polyelectrolyte properties differ significantly from the properties of conventional low molecular weight electrolytes. Statistical theories of polyelectrolytes can be considered as attempts to apply the Debye-Huckel approach to the description of the behavior of multivalent ions. They include calculating the electrostatic field potential of a macroion having a predetermined conformation. Spherical or chain models of macroions are usually used, which means the applicability of the corresponding theories to certain groups of polyelectrolytes. When calculating the potential in spherical models, a uniform continuous charge distribution is assumed either over the surface or in the volume of the sphere. In the models of a rigid rod, a macroion is considered in the form of a cylinder with charges smeared on the surface or in a volume with discrete equidistant charges. Theories are proposed that are based on a model of a randomly rolled chain with discrete equidistant charges deposited on it. Around each fixed charge, the ionic atmosphere is created, similar to that existing in a solution of a low molecular weight electrolyte with an ionic strength corresponding to the concentration of mobile ions. For the potential of the electrostatic field, the device huckel limit law is used. The following expression was obtained for the free electrostatic energy of a polyelectrolyte solution.
This implies the change in free electrostatic energy can be calculated on the basis of experimental titration curves. It is also possible to obtain an expression for the activity coefficient of mobile ions in a solution of a polyelectrolyte. This equation approximately describes the experimental activity coefficients of the polymer concentration and of the salt concentration in the solution of the polyelectrolyte. In the behavior of polyelectrolytes, an important role is played by the binding of a counter ions to a macro ion, which is due to the column interaction and is predicted by general electrostatic theories, but can also be caused by specific interaction between small ions and a macro ion.